Let's head over to Chef Mark, who is in the Beko kitchen, and today you're making Mexican beef chilli. That's right, there's more chilli in this recipe than you can shake a stick at. Well, that doesn't really <laughs> tickle my fancy, uh, but I'll give it a go, I'll give it a go. No, it's good, we've got, we've got a nice blend, we've got green chilli, so that's going to give us a different flavour. We've got mm -hmm. green, another green chilli um, paste <laughs> and a red chilli paste as well. Uh, lots of fresh flavours with garlic and ginger, a few vegetables thrown in, and uh, a little bit of salt, it's going to be beautiful. Uh, I'm sure it will be. I'll give it a shot. But it's just, you know, you've got chilli on top of chilli on top of chilli. Oh, no, that's flavour. Wow, OK. Well, it's going to be spicing up our Friday for sure. OK, we need to finish off our chilli beef. So the beef is looking fantastic, by the way, isn't it? Nice. Are you yep. happy with that? Yep, so we've got that. So that's just drained enough. Right, so we, we've drained it with a paper towel. Just going to sit to the side, and then we're going to get stuck into the chilli part. Right, so we're going we're gonna to create the rest of the dish now. So I've got yep. some capsicums. Cool. So... Just going to uh, do them in nice little slices and then we're going to start sautéing off, them off. Got some red onion and some spring onion as well, so you can start cooking that off. Cooking what off? Oh, this. Vegetables. Oh, right. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> So you know we said that Dynamo is on the show and he's yes. going to be here all day yes. on one day. Yes. Is that and it, you know he's a magician, isn't he? Yes. So maybe he can make you disappear and then he could be in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, Vern, you'll regret that. You will regret that. Actually, you know, I was thinking if he's if he can make big things disappear, then I'll line up my mortgage see if he can make. Oh, that's that a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See how good you are. Um, no, it's great to have him on the show. He's been a bit ill recently, actually, so um, it's good that he's on the mend and he's coming to New Zealand, but more on that on Monday. It's going to be fun. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, he's amazing. great, isn't he? Oh, he is. Right, so we've got uh, red onions, capsicums, spring onions in there, so you're just going to sauté them off. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we still want a bit of texture in there, so it's only, I'm going to take like a minute or two. OK. And then we're going to start adding some flavouring in here. Right, right. green chilies. Look at that green chilli. Oh, wow. Beautiful. I'm starting to get into green chilies now. You know, there's a, there's a little bit more sort of acidicness in there, a little okay. bit sort of sour freshness, but it's good. And a bit of kick. What do you like using it with the most? Is it good with fish or good with beef or? Oh, it's good meats? with beef. I mean, there's you know, there's heaps of chilli in here, heaps of flavour. Right. I mean, you could put it with fish if you want, but you're probably not going to taste the fish. OK. OK, good tip. Here you go. Nice. So we just so, keep sautéing this. Yeah, sautéing that. Ginger and garlic go in now, so you're just going to use the heat, bringing out mm. the flavour. And we'll just give that a little bit longer. OK. And then we've got an array of ingredients we're just going to put around. So it's a really fast, quick sauce. So you just want to make sure you, you get your vegetables to the right stage now. Well, do you want a little bit of colour on the capsicum? Or do you want the onions to soften? Well, How do you know it's ready? Yeah, just soften slightly, you know. Okay. But we don't want to keep cooking it so the um, all the colours. We don't want to lose all those beautiful colours. OK, here you go. So shoot. I'm going to start putting everything in now. So I've got a little bit of vinegar. Yep. Splash of soy sauce with some seasoning. Just a touch of ketchup. So that's going to bring us a little bit of um, sugar in there. Okay. Give us that sort of sweet and sour balance. My goodness, this is smelling incredible, Mark. Green chilli sauce. Yep. Lovely. And red chilli sauce. Wow. I was only going to put one chilli sauce in, but I thought the other one would feel uh, left out. So oh, put two yeah, in. Enough. That's all right. And then, you know, just cook that together. Get all those flavours um, coming in. Your vegetables are nearly cooked now. And then pop your beef back in. Okay. Give it a good toss around. Yeah. And probably cook that for a minute or two. And that's pretty much it. I've okay, got um, cool. the green parts of the spring onions. I'm just going to shave nice and finely and just throw it in last minute so it's a little bit like a, almost treat it like a herb. And I've got mm. a little bit of celery as well for some extra uh, texture when you finish the dish. But look at that. That looks fantastic. Okay, do you want to try it? Oh yeah. You reckon it's going to be hot though? Well, no, I'm I don't, go. Think, I don't go. think it's going to be too hot. Okay, cool. No, because it smells incredible. I have to try it. <laughs> As you know, that is good. It's a creeper. <laughs> it's definitely a creeper. It's it is definitely chili beef. a creeper. Yeah. Yeah. But, it, but it's all about the flavour. You know, we want the flavour of the chilies. Oh, it's so good and tangy. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, I tell you what, we'll share this with everybody else towards the end of the show. Okay, I tell you what, I tried it before, the chili beef, and it is amazing. How's it going, Mark? It's all good, it's all ready. We just finished it with the celery and the spring onions. Let's we'll serve some up. Good way to get some go. celery in you. Delicious. Warm your cockles up. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. No, that really surprised me. Love it.